and welcome back everybody. So if you'd like to like, subscribe and hit that bell button, it would be absolutely gratefully appreciated. Thank you so much, Libra, and we'll get right into it. So when I did your yearlies, Libra, your card for this month was the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so you're wanting to work together with people here. Um, you're either being acknowledged for your skills as you work very hard on something, other people are starting to admire how good you are at your job, or you're wanting to employ someone here to possibly fix your home or work with you to uh, bring their skills there um, to the table, okay? But we'll see where that goes. So we'll work with your Angels of Abundance to start with because it's a financial card. All right. Advice, please, for abundance when it comes to the star sign of Libra for June. Please. Thank you. Wow, there's lots. Looks like you've got your money on the mind. Okay, first one, deservingness. Um, you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus on your divine life purpose. So, yes, it looks like you're wanting to work with others here. Words of abundance. <clears throat> you have the ability to instantly manifest abundance by choosing powerful, positive words. Always describe your own and the world's economic situation in loving and optimistic terms. And that is what you will attract to yourself and others. Yes, have a look at um, how you're saying, particularly out loud, what you're saying about your finances. Um, Try and catch yourself saying something negative about your finances and see if you can change that thought around. There's lots of really, really good uh, positive affirmation videos and other positive meditation videos on YouTube. You can have a look about uh, rising, raising your vibration and about um, bringing more positivity and more money into your, into your life. So check those out. Um, donations, tithing and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support and, and inspire you and know that your generosity will return to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money and other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies. Yeah, so it looks like you might be helping somebody else here. Um, it looks like you're going to be um, getting some money for your skills. You can start working on the dream career part-time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. Soon your dream career will take flight and fully support you. Yes, yeah, so it looks like you've got a really good idea how to make money here. It looks like people are starting to acknowledge um, your skills or you're actually starting to acknowledge your own skills here and saying, wait a second, I'm quite good at this. I might actually try and give, do it for a job. Uh, that card's suggesting don't give up your day job, start really small, have it as a little bit of a hobby on the side, evenings, weekends, slowly build it up. And um, over time, I don't think very long because you guys are very dedicated once you get into a, um, a work situation, um, that uh, it'll start to come into fruition. You'll start to see some good money come from it. People will want to have you. Okay, so we'll also have a look at your health here, Libra. Is there any advice for star sign of Libra for June? It comes to their health. Any advice, please? Any advice, anything they should do to improve their health during the month of June? Uh -huh. Give us your cares. Um, dear Archangel Raphael, I am willing to release any fears to you. Please allow me to completely let go of that you cannot... Oh, excuse me. Please allow me to completely let go so that you can fully guide me in this situation. Yeah, so might have you all up in your head really worried. Um, you guys being a um, air sign, you do tend to really focus on thoughts. So you might be getting a little bit confused, a lot of thoughts going around in your head, which way to go sort of thing. But I think, look, as best you can, try and release those fears. It looks like um, once you actually put your head down and start to actually start to do this work, those fears are going to actually start to dissipate because you're actually going to realise that you're darn good at it. Okay? Um, and it'll it's going to give you lots more confidence. Okay? 
And also you might be a little bit concerned about your health here. Um, so yes, maybe just check in with yourself um, and see how you're going. If you do have any health concerns that might be a bit niggly, uh, it might be time to go get some advice from uh, some sort of practitioner that um, you'd like to see uh, and it looks like they're going to alleviate any um, concerns you might have during this month. Okay, so we'll get into the tarot. So your card was the Three of Pentacles. Let's expand on that. The Hangman, the Seven of Wands. Okay, so you're starting to see things from a completely different perspective here and it's giving you enlightenment. You've also probably found yourself a little bit stuck and trapped in a situation that's not very comfortable. Uh, and through that, it has given you enlightenment on a certain situation here. Uh, you've come to a conclusion. Uh, and once you guys come to a conclusion, that's that. And so now you're defending your stance. It's like, right, actually, I've got a really good passionate idea here, possibly for work. And um, I don't care what anybody else says. I think I'm okay at it. I'm going to give it a go um, and it looks like you're not really, it looks like you're getting a lot of people giving you passionate, you know, ideas and stuff of what they think of it, but you're not taking any of it. You're like, no, nah, look, I'll prove it. I'll show you. Just give me, just let me give it a go first. So that looks like where you're at the moment. Okay. So yeah, there you go. Being, um, an air sign. This is pretty much naturally your card. So the universe is actually handing you this, uh, really inspired idea here. Uh, it's come from being in a hermitage or a hermetic mode. You've got that spark of inspiration here in your lantern. You're holding that passionate idea, this wand that turned up when I split the deck. So you've got that passionate idea, um, you're holding a light to it, you've gone inside to check out exactly how you feel and think and how you're going to move forward. You're planning, strategically planning. And once you actually come out of this planning stage, it looks like you're going to be able to, to, to launch into this, okay? Yes, the Ten of Pentacles, a uh, King of Pentacles, sorry. You could be dealing with a male um, or a uh, Earth sign, sorry, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, or this could be you wanting to embody this um, energy yourself. Now, the King of Pentacles, he's got all his finances in order. I mean, look at that card. He's just dripping with bounty, isn't he? So, yes, he's got beautiful clothes, gorgeous throne. Everything's growing beautifully. He's got his finances in order. He's willing to, he can look after everybody in his family. Uh, he's admired and respected for his ability to be able to, to um, bring bounty into the world. Yeah, so there's the three of pentacles again. So yes, you want to be either admired for your work skills or other people are actually starting to admire you or they will, okay? Okay, you're willing to quickly go in with the sword of truth here. Once you come out of hermetic mode, um, you're going to say, right, I've got this idea and I'm running with it. Now, once you guys actually have an idea, you're very quick to act. So I think it's going to take a few people by surprise uh, just how fast you're acting on this, but you know what you're doing. You've got everything sorted. You've got all the organization behind you. You know exactly what's going on. You've sorted all the steps out and now you're willing to move. Okay, so the King of Cups over the, the King of Pentacles. So yeah, I think this might be you wanting to, to have mastered your finances and then mastered your emotions. And or you're dealing with a king of pentacles and a king of cups here. Uh, and it's over the deservingness card. Um, uh, lovable quantity qualities. Yeah, so I think that you're starting to embody these two energies here. You're starting or you want to embody these energies. You want to project this to the world. You want people to see you as someone that's got their finances in order and their emotions intact. You want to be admired for how good you are at these two things. Okay, uh, you could it could do with marriage. This is also a card of Taurus. Um yeah, we'll keep on going. Yep. Once you've actually come out of hermetic mode and raced in with that new idea, it'll be time to celebrate. 
Now, it's been a long time, I think, since you guys have been able to celebrate some success. So I think this is going to be well-deserved. Uh, five of Cups. Okay, maybe you're, I, th I feel this is a past energy. You're tired of looking at um, what's lost. You want that stability. You want financial and emotional stability here. And you're willing to work at it. And you're just sitting back waiting. I mean, you've planted these seeds. You're just sitting back waiting. You're probably still at this stage, still in hermetic mode. But it looks like very shortly you're going to be starting to move out of that. Okay, there's going to be a major change. All right. Sometimes when we're in hermetic mode and things look like nothing's really going on from the outside, people could sort of look in and say, oh, well, they're not doing much with themselves, are they? I think suddenly you guys are just going to go bang straight out of the gate and go, wow, look, I've got this job. It's amazing. I've done all this behind the back scenes. Check it out. And everybody be going, whoa, wait a second, Libra. You've got your finances sorted, haven't you? Wow. And you seem to be handling this um, really well your emotions are in check you know wow what's happened Libra so yeah I think this is a positive tower I think people are going to be going wow I want to hang out with Libra they're great they've sorted themselves out you know where's Libra been hiding okay and bang this will lead to your ten of cups now this could be Happiness in the home, happiness with the kids, happiness with it, whatever is your ten of cups, whatever is your true happiness. It's exactly what you guys are going for. So yes, don't worry if people have been hassling you because you've been in what they consider hiding. I think that's just their perception. Okay. Fend them off as best you can in your beautiful, balanced, liberal way. Get your thoughts in order. Once you've got your thoughts in order, Go for it, Libra. It's going to be yours leading to financial and emotional bliss. Wow, Libra. <laughs> All right, we're just going to also have a look at your love blocks, if there is any, because it looks like you guys... Oh, it actually does look like you guys are more focused on your finances and getting yourself in order here. You want to present as the best possible person you you can. Um, you want to be admired for your skills when it comes to work. You want to be admired when it comes to your ability to look after your finances. You want to be admired for how uh, generous you are and how emotionally supportive you are. Okay. And it looks like you will be. People are willing to celebrate just how, how much you've got yourself together. So yes, fabulous. Okay, two love blocks popped out. Let's have a look. First one, independence. Being independent does not mean you have to be alone. That's right. So yes, you're looking for financial independence here. But yes, you can see the kitty. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, yes, it doesn't mean you have to be alone, but you're looking for equal. You want equal. You want your scales balanced. So if you earn a certain amount or do a certain amount, you want a partner that does equal, as in that person has their finances at an equal level. That person has their emotions at an equal level. There is give and take, everything in um, balance, okay? So just because you're starting to think about, oh, I'm going to end up with all this money, doesn't necessarily mean you need to be alone. So it might be time this month to actually start to bring yourself out of that hermetic mode that you might be in, okay? Start to act on that idea. Get out there, see people, meet people, Okay? If you're, if you're in a, a single, really good time to get out there and meet people. It looks like people are going to be willing to celebrate you and see you as someone that's really um, got their finances and emotions in check. Okay, and time. Everything is in divine and perfect order. Yeah, so it looks like you might have, uh, it could have come off the back of a broken relationship and you ended up in hermetic mode here. Uh, it looks like with time and see sometimes it can it can times can seem very long sometimes but it's just all universal time I suppose it's dealing with this 
it seems it's time. So if you've been wanting someone back, it might be time to slowly emerge from hermetic mode. If you're wanting to be in a partnership, it might be time to slowly put yourself out there. Or slowly, excuse me, I'm talking to you, Libra. Put yourself out there. I mean, I'm not a swords, excuse me. Put yourself out there and see. Hold your head up high. You're a very proud sign, okay? So project out there exactly what you'd like to see projected back to you, okay? If you put out love, and kindness, support, that's what will be mirrored back to you, okay? So yes, it looks like uh, time is could also be of the essence. It might be time to act on this idea and get out there. Okay, Libra. Well, thank you very much. So if you'd like to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button if you want to get informed of any new videos I post. And I'd like to say bye for now, Libra.